We're living on the edge, boys. Oh, I think they retextured the revolver too. Coming to nice. right. Yeah, it's right. Welcome back, everyone, to GTFO. I'm sorry I didn't make a video preview for Rundown 4 like I did for the last two, but unfortunately there was very little information even in the official mailing list. They also only gave about a week between the announce date and when it actually launched, but here we are. So despite the seemingly short notice, this is actually the biggest update GTFO's had since launch. Like the previous three rundowns, we have an entirely new map with some new enemies, new location known as Data Center. But the two new big things is that there is a new level of progression for rundowns involving bulkhead doors. And the biggest change is that there is now a matchmaking system and inbuilt voice chat in the game. The matchmaking is in alpha and it's experimental, so we'll see how well it works. I've already had a couple bugs, but on my second attempt, I was able to match in probably 30 seconds to a minute. Well, the people I matched with were not particularly the best players. It at least works well, and I'm very impressed with the quality of the audio through the voice chat. And if it's working this well already, I can only see them ironing out the kinks and it working perfectly well by the time 1.0 rolls around. So next I'm going to talk about the new rundown and how the new progression is going to work. The new rundown has two A's, two B's, two C's, two D's. Pretty easy to remember this time around. And if you look in the upper right of your screen here, you can see rundown sectors cleared. Those skulls represent optional objectives, or necessary objectives, depending on the level that you can decide to unlock doors and complete these further objectives, and it'll give you a marker on that skull. And once you've unlocked enough of those skulls, you'll be able to proceed to the next level. And here is what at least one model of the bulkheads looks like. It's actually on the promo image for the new rundown. And here is the bulkhead hub, I guess. It's where you insert a key that's found in the level that'll allow you to unlock one or another bulkhead, depending on what level of difficulty and if you're going for optional objectives. So, no spoils this time around. I'm not going to go into the new enemy. Half because I haven't gotten there yet, and second because all I've seen is the intro loading screen. But, here are the three new weapons, which I will talk about. First, we have the auto pistol, which is very similar to the machine pistol from, I think, Rundown 2. We have the carbine is bringing a return. The new other primary is the heavy assault rifle, which is high damage, low fire rate. And the new secondary is called the choke mod shotgun. For the rest of this video, I'll just be showing you clips of those guns and talking about them, as well as clips from the new tool, which is called simply the auto sentry. It is basically an SMG stuck in place that fires nonstop and has an insane amount of ammo. I think it's very interesting. So first we have the heavy assault rifle. As you can see, it has absolutely insane recoil and pretty okay damage. I believe it's three headshots to kill a normal striker. I'm not a giant fan of it so far, but I don't think it's a bad choice all in all. And now this is the choke mod shotgun, which I think is hot garbage. It has four bullets that occasionally kill strikers in one shot. I think it's just not worth it for the amount of ammo you get. And here's a short clip of the auto pistol showing off its stagger capabilities. Well, it does apparently no damage. I think it's like two damage per shot to other players. It does seem to stagger in only one or two hits on normal strikers, so you could light up a horde and just run through it. It's also worth mentioning that it has incredible reload time and an absolute insane amount of ammo, like 500 in reserve. And this is what I'm excited for. This is the auto sentry. I don't know if you can read on that tiny screen on the turret, but it has a base of over 700 bullets. It just never stops shooting. Although it does eat through that, it's crazy. I also want to mention this is my case against the choke shotgun. In this small fight, I used about 55% of my ammo from 100. It's just not worth it. And here's a little bit more of the auto sentry doing exactly what it's meant for, which is holding chokes. It staggers enemies very easily, even though it does very low damage. So you can just hold a choke with the heavy assault rifle is a great option here. And it's also worth mentioning, this may be a bug or maybe I'm seeing things, but it looks like it was soundless and didn't aggro anybody until I shot through that door. So keep that in mind, maybe. 
So all in all, I'm really excited for Rundown 4. I think this is great for the longevity of the game. Matchmaking has been a long time promised, and it looks like it's finally here, and it's here to stay. I will see you all out there, because I'm going to be marathoning this for the next month or so. Have a good one.